What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you three viral effects that you need to add to your next music video. Let's get right into it. The first one we're going to have is crazy kind of like black and white grungy effect. It looks absolutely insane, let me show you. So on top of the adjustment layer, we're going to slap on CC Kernel, which, which is an effect that is practically not known right now. We're going to go and increase that right here. Actually, I'm going to decrease it. Then I'm going to increase that one right there. Decrease that one a little, something like that. And we're going to make the divider 0.2. Now you're kind of going to get that a bit of like that VHS, that DVD kind of feel. It adds a bit of a grungy look that I like a lot. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to do just like this. Now we're going to have this, which is pretty nice. I kind of like how like the edges are interacting. Then the next thing we're going to apply is threshold, CC threshold. So we get that kind of like black and white effect. It looks super tough, but we don't see enough of the image. So we're going to crank that by the way up. Absolutely crazy, right? That one is super hard. If we want, we can add a flicker effect to it. As you can see, I just put the exposure effect. I'm just going to do alt click and then wiggle. Let's do 24 and then one, just one. That way it's going to flicker a little. We can even add the NTSC plugin, which is completely free. You're going to get that kind of like VHS effect instantly. This super fire effect. So that is our first effect. Now the next effect I'm going to show you is an effect that's really like popular right now in the underground is to kind of make that like squeeze footage look. It looks insane. Let me just show you. Let's get it. So basically what you want to do, as you can see, you have this footage right here. So basically what you want to do with this footage is actually pretty simple. It's kind of like a squeezed. Uh, usually it's like in 16 by 9. And then you basically want to make it like basically like 4 by 3. But you can just do that by unchecking the scale properties that you can activate doing S. And then, uh, yeah, the X axis, you can just squeeze that right here. As you can see, you already get a pretty fire look. You get a pretty fire look. As you can see, you get a pretty fire look right here. If you want to add on to it, you can add the sharpen effect and then do this like this. That would look pretty cool. Also, if we set that back to its original state, for my people that got the Internet Chaos Pack that I just dropped, for my people that got the Internet Chaos Pack that I just dropped, you should have right there the underground format Lores that you can just slap on your layer right here. And then you're going to have this crazy look and you're going to have this crazy. I love that one, like underground format low res. So if you don't know about Internet Chaos, I just dropped it. You can cop it down below. It's basically all of the effects that are going super crazy right now. Those chaotic effects that are extremely viral right now. Let me show you real quick. We have a bunch of these. You also have the Internet Chaos elements as well. I'm just going to show you real quick if you just double click. You're gonna have like these data effects, but you have so many of these intense tracking data that looks absolutely insane. So if you wanna check those out, I'll leave them down in the description. You can also use code GUS15 and you'll save 15% off. That is our second effect. And then the third effect I'm gonna show you how to do is to make this crazy dynamic flicker effect. It looks insane, hard to put a name on it because it's really unique. But that's it, let's get right into this. All right, let's do this. So on the very same layer, we're gonna go and get the curves effect. We're gonna drag this on, and then we're gonna keyframe the curves. And then at the beginning, we're gonna make two points, one, two, one for the low lights and one for the highlights. So we're gonna decrease the low right here until you get this, and then increase it until you get something like this, something crazy, just like this. So now we're going to have this. As you can see, that looks super cool, but it's like very predictable, right? So we're going to add a bit of variation to this by adding a like flicker, a kind of like flicker. I'm going to put the exposure effect behind and then we're going to do wiggle. Sorry. And then you want to press on odd click wiggle 24 times per second, comma, and then let's do one. So now it looks something like this. This looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then I think to that, and then I think to that, I'm going to add an echo effect as well right here. And also on top of that, we're going to add a directional blur effect on top of everything. And we're going to make it maybe at the end, actually. Yeah, I guess I could put it right there. And then we're going to do an expression as well. I'll click and then we're going to type wiggle let's do 24 comma and then let's do 25 right so now we're gonna have this let's try to put it like 
behind that. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then we're just gonna add some more color to it by adding a EU saturation. Let's change that to something like, yeah, I messed with that. That looks crazy. Maybe if we put it after the echo. Yeah, purple like that looks insane to be honest. And we could add a bit of glow, like deep glow. I don't know if the glow is necessary though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna remove the glow. But yeah, here is our third effect. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if you're watching any value, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 10K. Also, please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you wanna see on this channel. Also, if you're looking to level up your edits for the new year, definitely check out the link in the description. You'll have access to my store where you can get presets, templates, all of that good stuff to level up. With that said, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.